Well, just went up in an attic and got this uh, big giant, big giant Norway rat, big giant Norway rat out of the attic. See the, see the maggots, the maggots are coming out of the, the rat. There's one crawling right out of them. Maggot right there. Look at that maggots. Maggots are coming out of his butt. Maggots are just coming right out of his butt. Coming right out the rear end of that rat. This is a, this is a big old giant Norway rat. Ugh. Half his hair is coming off. Smells, smells disgusting. There's a maggot trying to come out of his mouth right now. This is what I pulled out of an attic. Luckily we have long, luckily we have long rakes. Long rakes, I got back in this corner and raked this, saw the rat and raked him right out towards me and then put him in a trash bag. Didn't smell too good. I was wearing a mask and it still smelled bad. Yeah, see these maggots. Maggots are crawling around on the ground. They're coming out of the, they, they've been eating a rat from the inside. Now they're coming out. There's maggots up in his mouth. They're about to come out. Yep, this thing smelled up two rooms. That's how that's how smelly it was. But this is what wildlife X team this is what wildlife X team is good for. We we know how to find we know how to find the dead rats and the dead animals in the attics. No matter how hard it is to get to, we usually figure it out. Usually about maybe more than ninety percent of the time we we locate them. Um, but that's pretty big rat. 